Hey guys, long time, no talk. I've been busy riding my motorcycle. Got a couple things I want to cover with these 2024s. Um, <laughs> seeing a bunch of people out there bitching about these bikes. Um, saying, well, the bike should come with inverted forks. Well, they do. It's called the ST, okay? Carly made this bike affordable for all of us to, you know, who don't have ST money. Or in my case, is going to end up upgrading it myself, okay? So... I'm tired, of, like, it's crazy with all this crap that I've been hearing. But I want to go over the bike. I want to go over my mileage. I want to go over what I've been doing. This is the bike. Things that I've added. I've added the carbon fiber front fender. That is the Harley Davidson one. I have the wedge air filter. I have the 12-inch Harley windshield. I have the Bassani 2-into-1 Road Rage exhaust. It's all part of my stage two. I have the Screaming Eagle tuner. I'm going to get the Thunder Max tuner. Now, people are saying you can avoid your warranty. No, it's coming on a brand new ECU. So all you got to do, if you, if you have to get warranty work done, unplug the one from ECU, or I mean from um, Thunder Max, plug in your old one, bring it in for servicing, and they won't even know, okay? Dealers nowadays, even if they did know, they're trying to work with us, so... Yeah, anyhow, let's keep walking around the bike. Uh, backrest, of course. This is a typical... I got this off of Amazon, along with the luggage rack. Works great for me. I already did the Bassani. Come around. I haven't done a lot yet. I'm still doing more. The flat-out bar, of course I did. Now, sound system. Guys, I, had, I, put, I upgraded to the Stage 2... Rockford Fosgate sound system with the 500 watt amp. I'm hearing people say, well, they can't hear their, 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 their radio. Let me tell you something. I hear my radio at 112 miles an hour, and you all know it can't go any faster than that. Well, I did get it to 113 downhill with a, with a, bat, with a nice tailwind. I hear this just fine. So if you're not hearing it and you've upgraded to the 500 watt Rockford Fosgate amp and the Rockford Fosgate Stage 2 speakers, you got something set wrong either in your phone, in the system. You didn't do upgrade the uh, software when you uh, put in the new um, the new amp. But there's no way with my bad hearing that I'm hearing it at 112 miles an hour on a highway and you can't hear it at 50 going down a side road, okay? Say, let's talk about the rear shocks, guys. Rear shocks. I don't know. I have I did a video on the rear shocks. Go look at the video. If you think that these shocks are worse than the previous generation, you got something set wrong. Okay, I did a video on it, on how to upgrade the shocks. You can go ahead, check out that video. Um, better yet, just open up your damn uh, your owner's manual, and you'll be able to see. Now, do I have a right to talk about this? I don't know. Let's see how many miles I have on this bike. Ten thousand six fifty two. Yeah, I know I don't have as many miles as some of you guys have, but I think I can honestly say that I have the right to give my opinion on these bikes. Now back to the front shocks again. You want inverted front shocks? Get the ST. All right, or take or go buy this one and put inverted shocks on it. These shocks are not bad. Are they the best? No, but I'm up in the mountains. I was on the tail of the dragon, the back of the dragon. Uh, that. Uh, Charahola Speed uh, Park, uh, I forget, Highway, whatever it's called. Dude, I'm flat out on these things, and I'm scraping my, my floorboards. As a matter of fact, I even bent my kickstand. Believe me, these shocks are handling everything I throw at it with no problem at all. Am I going to upgrade them? Absolutely. Am I going to upgrade my back shocks? Eventually, okay? The other thing I didn't do on this that I did on every other Harley I've ever owned is the bars, Okay? These bars, very easy to adjust. Um, there's a little tab in there. If you have to break it to, to get a little higher, you can. I found I left the tab in, uh, the little nipple in, and pushing it all the way up gave me all the, you know, the, the comfort I needed. Uh, I'm only 5'10". So if you're a little taller than me, you may need to push it up further. Okay, And if you do, then you're going to need to break off that little nipple. No big deal. You can grind it off or you can just push it really hard and it'll break off on its own. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm loving the bike. I mean, it's fast as, fast as shit, man. You know, no doubt about it. And, I, I, again, I just love it. So, 
that's what's going on. I promise I will be do more videos once it starts getting colder. I have a ton of rides coming up. Matter of fact, I have a big one that I'm running uh, for the Blue Knights and for Whole Vet. It's a joint ride um, next weekend. If you live in North Carolina, come on out and check it out. We're going to be starting a Bulldog Harley Davidson at 11 a.m. Uh, registration starts at 10 a.m. We're riding out to Garden State Grill in Lillington. Okay, it's $20 a rider, $10 a passenger. When we get out to Lillington, we're going to have a live band out there. There's going to be food. There's going to be vendors. There's going to be all kinds of stuff. It's going to be a great time. So please, if you want, come and join us. Um, we'd love to see you. Now, it's going to be a big ride. Right now, we're looking about... 70 bikes, I'd love to get it up to 100. So if you're in North Carolina, come on out, guys. Take care.